<laughs> Welcome back, card fans. Back to Pokemon 151. We uh, have already done an opening where we did kind of every retail version of this product, but now we had to get a pack battle in. Gotta battle those packs! On the line, a couple of Obsidian Flame Booster packs, but uh, I'll Obsidian. let you pick left or right. Well... <laughs> Easy left! Are you All kidding right. me? Pick those two up and tell me when to pick left. Well, left is heavier. Come on! It's heavier. It's loaded with hollow foils. It's just got ten different Snorlax cards in it. Uh, as always with our pack battles, single highest card value according to eBay.com. That card value cannot be in a relationship. No, single, single. highest card single. Value. <laughs> Ain't no Travis Kelsey or hello, Taylor hey, Swift hello. card values here. If Travis Kelsey was a Pokemon, or Taylor Swift was a Pokemon, I know my answer for Taylor Swift came to mind immediately. Meloetta. I was thinking Gardevoir. Ah, that, that works too. What's your answer for it? What's Travis Kelsey? Who would he be? I feel like Tops. No, he's, no, he's thicker no. than Kabutops. Thicker than Kabutops. I would say he's more in line with like a. Uh, hmm. He's like a. Slay a, King? I was going to say like a Scyther. Okay, 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 okay. Well, maybe something better will come to me. Spoil yourself on the. Uh, Card designs. All right, we're jumping in. Uh, oh. Come on! <laughs> Question oh, yeah. of That's the good day stuff. is... <laughs> good thing I have protection. <laughs> Holy hell. What is your favorite generation of Pokemon based on the game? Oh, we have not seen Farfetch'd it, have we? Leak Cobbler. We did oh, at, us? The, at the very end of the last video, I pulled one. Uh, package deal. Hey, hello. <sighs> Remember when, it's always sunny. Charlie's up in the blue. Yeah. <laughs> Milk steak. All right. So why don't you answer first? Because your answer is going to be Gen 1, I think. I don't think it is. So, I mean... Stop right there. Josh literally said before we filmed this, we shouldn't do that because everyone's gonna pick Gen One, and I said I, I, I said yeah, I wouldn't, and then you're like, oh okay, and now yeah. you're not picking it either. Yeah, I mean, on further consideration, I'm like, maybe it isn't. Maybe Gen One isn't my favorite. Okay, now let's remind everybody, in terms of just the Pokemon, we are both in vehement agreement that. It, the Gen 1 Pokemon yeah. are miles ahead of everything the else. The statement I made in our last video that I stand by, and I think is like, this is like how I really feel. Hello. The 151 Pokemon from Gen 1 are all in the top 200 Correct. of all time Pokemon. I took it a step further and said my least favorite from Gen 1 is better than my favorite from the other yeah. eight. Ted said the top 151 Pokemon are all... I still, I still don't unthink that. That's fair. I'm open to unthinking that, but I, at this moment in time, I still stand by that statement. So, yeah. anyways, keep that in mind. We're not, we're not contrarians. Yeah. We're not Gen One haters. We absolutely love this. Yeah. But in terms of games, it sounds like we don't. Yeah. All right, you're up. So this is kind of so Asia with our. See, so yeah, I can do it too. from my packs. Wow. Wow. This man goes left and just wow. fakes out. Goes back right. Hello. Uh, so, I think in my head, I have it narrowed down to kind of two. Yes, of course. The first one, I think, is potentially a very controversial take. Ooh, that might even go when you're, like, off to the side. Maybe, maybe, pile. maybe, like, maybe. We, we don't see Ooh, I don't think we saw Kakuna. No. Also, it's move. Z no vowels. Z Incredible. So much going on here. Absolutely phenomenal. Glad you pointed that out. I don't think we saw Poliwag. I don't think so. We saw definitely Poliwhirl and Poliwrath. Definitely saw Ponyta and Pikachu. So the first one we'll throw out, Gen 8. The most recent Pokemon games. No, Gen 9. I was going to say. Gen 9, the most recent Pokemon games. Uh, 
totally brand new design in the way of it being kind of that more open world concept. Um, I had definitely, I, I, I agree with you that those games rule. I had more fun playing the gen nine game than I did the past. And I have played every generation. I was going to say, I um, all of them. so like I had more fun playing that than I had in years. Travis Kelsey is a lucky buzz. Oh, you nailed it. Um, the other one that I'll throw out there. <laughs> God damn it. This is so per- <laughs> The tiny ah! ass Psyduck ah! is so little. Okay, well, I said that, that... That Ditto took up the least amount, but... Uh, not even close. That Psyduck is... Like... I can't even Like 2% function. of this card is Psyduck. Oh my god. And the rest of it is not Psyduck. Holy shnikes. <laughs> All right. Uh, Regroup. Travis Kelsey, Electabuzz, Psyduck, <laughs> Character Rare. I'm, I'm freaking out. Uh, Gen 5. So Pokemon Black and White, Black 2, White 2 are super fun games if you've never played them before. I have not. Uh, they are... Like... Actually, like as far as like story goes, they kind of have like a story that goes to them. Whereas like a lot of the other Pokemon games are just sort of like go battle the gyms. Maybe there's a narrative in between, but like it's not at all the focus. True. Whereas Gen Five, that does change gotcha. a little bit. Gen um, Three, I feel like, is where it really got crazy. Gen Three did get crazy at points, but in terms of like this is not Mama's Pokemon game. Yeah. And so the other thing about Gen. 3 five that i know you don't know because you haven't played it but i have played gen nine yes i played i've played one two three and nine didn't you play a little bit of eight yeah and eight um so gen five they when it first released it was only gen five pokemon there were Mm. no gen one through four in it at all so it or six or nine yeah one two it forced you to play with like all new Pokemon. That's interesting. And right. that was really cool because it kind of hit reset and it wasn't just like, oh, I'm going to go get a Gyarados because he's great. Right. Great a dose. Yeah. You know what I say when Alex gets up early in the morning and goes for a run and does the dishes and all that stuff? Huh. Bay. Sick energy. <laughs> held that card there for two minutes just for that joke. Wow. Meowth, we did not see. He's held it longer for less, folks. Hello! <laughs> totally true, by the way. Uh, so I don't even have it. Ooh. Now, Magmar, we did not even mention when we were naming our favorites from Gen no. 1. I would say it's probably top 25, maybe, for me. He is up there. Oh, Jinx! Oh, yeah. How do we not mention Jinx? All right, all right. All right. What kind of fools are we? I'm getting distracted. Starmy da boo dee da boo da. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so that's why it's it's between those They're two. They're saying five and nine. Yeah, because like they introduced. They were the they were the revelations. The yeah, revolutionary. Game. And I guess you could also then use the same logic for Gen One. Sure. Ooh. Was that like Gen One is Pokemon? It like literally yeah. introduced right. the game. It's the Beatles of Pokemon. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's between like those three for me, which is why I originally at one point said like not including Gen One because I'm like ah oh, that's just such an obvious answer. But like as far as enjoyment to like go back and play now, I might have to say Gen Five. Yeah. I loved Gen Five. Oh, maybe I'll pick one of those up. Oh, it's it is so worth it. What system can I play that on? DS. Oh, don't have one of those. Uh, I do. Alrighty. All right, how about you? What is your... Uh... So, I have much less experience than Josh. I've only played, as I said, 1, 2, 3, 8, and 9. Bill's Transfer. That secret is a rare. secret rare. It is a full art trainer. Uh, wish I could transfer my bills. <laughs> oh! um, Adult joke. I will say this. 8 is great. 9, I love. Still yeah. playing it. 
the first Pokemon I ever played was Crystal Version. Mmm. Good game. And my first Pokemon game I ever bought and logged over 300 hours on was... Hello. Silver, Silver version. Mm. With Lugia on it. Ooh. I've not seen Flareon yet. Um, so, just because I feel like they basically took Gen 1 and were like, let's fucking beef this mother out. Yeah. We're gonna take we're gonna take Gen 1, which is perfect. Yeah. And we're gonna make it better. Yeah. That's what Gen 2 is. Yeah. And I played the shit out of that. And I uh, it's fully biased and emotional and nostalgia. As it absolutely can be. And should be. Yeah. For the sake of this conversation. Yeah. Well it's what's your favorite. If you were if you were telling me you can only play one for the rest of your life, the other eight go away forever, I'm taking yep. Gen 2. I'm okay. taking silver, gold, crystal. Yeah. And I'm not even thinking twice about it. Yeah. Not even thinking about it at all. Mm. Gen 1, I love. I've played the hell out of that over the years. I, I, oh, I, yeah. I picked up a red version, uh, I guess about seven years ago now. Yeah. And that lives in my car. You were playing blue version while I was moving back to Cleveland. That was yours. Yeah. Yeah. A blue, a red version in my Game Boy Advance sits in my glove box for if I'm just sitting somewhere, stranded somewhere, just <laughs> like need to kill time. Yeah. I play red version, and I love it. Um, but silver version is just that game for me. Yeah. It's like it's like Crash Bandicoot on in terms of like console games, where it's like yeah, that's just my home. Yeah. You know, for handheld games. Yeah. Is it me? It's you. So that's my answer. Yeah. Nine, I haven't finished yet, and I still am loving it. And I totally agree. Like, the yeah. concept is crazy. Yeah. And the open world, it's so big. It's so fun. Yeah. I did love three, by the way. I did buy... Three was great. I bought Ruby and Sapphire when they came out. Yeah. And I enjoyed the hell out of those. And I and that, it was a big moment of, like, wow, they are changing this shit. Yeah. Like, three was a big change from two. Yes. I haven't played five, so, you know, I don't... I can't relate to what you're saying there. But three was like, oh, dear God. Yeah. What have they done yeah. with my precious Pokemon games? I don't think we've seen Raticate yet. We have. Oh, we Definitely have? Definitely okay. have, yeah. Let's have a blast spinning fumes. Sounds like my college nights. I uh, never did that in college. I just meant like farting, I guess. I don't know. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Um, but anyways, that's my answer. Yeah. As Gen 2. And then, so let's talk consoles. For these games, yeah. Now we can also we do we also could include like Pokemon Snap and then 64. There's Pokemon Stadium. So see, I never played any of those. I played Pokemon Snap a decent amount. Now I wanted to get into this as well, just in terms of like the venues I was playing these games in. So Pokemon Snap was always like. <laughs> first of all, first of all, we didn't even mention Mr. Mime. Nope. He's top 10 for me. Top, yeah, he's up top there. Top 15. I loved Mr. Mime. Gee. Like Looks like a Koopa with a body. Him? Koopa with a body. What do you think? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. What were you saying? Just the lines? Like the build. It's like buildings around him. Oh. I like the design. Holy shit. Killer. Okay. Sorry. That just threw me for a loop. Yeah, that, well, I was not. There's something about playing Pokemon on a TV, which you can do mm. now with the. Oh yeah. What is that called? A Switch. Yeah, with the Switch. The first time I played Sword and Shield, and I was like playing it on like. The, I can't well, wait. Well, the TV that you guys see back there. Like I played it on like that. It's like 55 inches, and I was just like. I can't wait. Whoa. For Alex to go out of town. Yeah. I'm ordering a big ass sandwich from Jersey Mike's on Uber Eats. Mm. For forty dollars, and I'm playing Pokemon on the big TV in the living room on the couch. I yeah. mean, the child me never thought this would happen. No, yeah. Pokemon Snap, you should play. Okay. It's a blast. Well, they redid it on the Switch. There's like a great. new one on the you Switch. You should get it. You should play. I'm assuming it's great. Now, I will say my earliest memories of playing Pokemon was at like before school, after school, we care. Yeah. Loved we care. And you're just sitting on the ground in a gym yeah. by yourself <laughs> playing Pokemon. No, I was, I, I had friends and I was playing games and stuff with them. But I vividly recall just sitting alone, 
against yeah. the wall, that radiator heater mm -hmm. on my back in the winter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I remember, I, I remember my first evolution. Okay. I was just wandering around in the tall grass. <laughs> no idea what I was doing. You know, 200 kids are playing this game. I don't oh, know yeah, what's yeah. going on. I just put it in and started playing it. And I'm doing battles with a Kakuna. Mm. And all of a sudden, the, I thought the game was glitching or there was some yeah. problem. And Kakuna just starts spazzing out. <laughs> and next thing you know, I got a fucking bee drill. And I was, I, I, do, I was hooked. I do remember the first time getting a bee drill being like, this is the peak of human anything. civilization. Yeah. yeah. I was like, this, <laughs> I'm like, this is as good as yeah. it gets. And we were, oh! <laughs> Ooh. This is what it, this is why we do it, folks. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm wow. so thrilled with myself and us and my life. There's I a gold behind it. I don't care about anything right now. There's a gold behind I know. this. I'm just let's just take a moment. <sighs> Oh, oh not a it's a complete. Um, but anyways, like so, those are my. I have such early great memories with that. It was a Game Boy Color, uh, we care, and then my first Game Boy. So my uncle, what do you call it? I know you were distracted. This sorry, but this is important. What do you call it when your aunt and uncle get divorced? Is that still your uncle? Now, keep in mind, this happened when I was 28 years old. So this guy was in my life. Oh, yeah, I'd still for call it. Yeah, 28 still call years. Him uncle. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyways, this guy gives me a Game Boy. Original Game Boy. The mm. big gray Game Boy. Mm. He gives me Tetris. Original Tetris. Of course. Bo Jackson Sports. Football and baseball are on here. And a couple of games that weren't that great. Chess Master, Dots, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, some other stuff. But, anyways. Anyways, back when they thought this would be for anything but rotting our brains. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but anyways, so I got that, and then for Christmas in 2003 or four, my grandparents get me the red Target branded Game Boy Advance. Ooh. Must have been two or three because then I got Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah. When those came out. Mm. Anyways. Mm. You bought that. I would buy that light that would attach to the Game Boy. Coolest shit ever. To drive around in the car or play at yeah. night with the light, and it magnified the screen. Yeah. So, All right, I'll let yeah. you take over. So see, that's where, like, so like, bringing up like kind of like the nostalgia side of like what I remember first playing them as. Like, I didn't have any video game consoles growing up, so most of these I've gone back and like replayed. Mm. Uh, like once I got uh, like a computer and I figured out how to do like emulators. Yes. I did have a, an emulator as well for the first gen Pokemon. I forget if it was red or blue or how it worked, but. Uh, so, my first memories are actually all in the car going to karate tournaments. Mm. Uh, and my neighbor across the street, we'd like go to them together. Hey, there's, there's Hit Hitman Chan. Wow. He's been hitting the gym. Yeah. Excited punch and counter attack. Okay. Reverse Charmander's nice. Um, Whoa. Charizard. Okay. Uh, Charizard? Oh, that would Daisy's been... Hell. Yeah, My second secret rare. Uh, you're, I mean, the Blasters is when, uh, like the, the pack battle is more or less over. Um, but Wait, is it? It's a secret rare Blastoise. Oh, it's a secret rare. Yeah. I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. I just assumed because that Charizard we pulled in the first video was number six. I didn't even realize that Blastoise was a secret oh, rare. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah this is over. Yeah. Okay. I have to pull, like, and you thought there was a gold behind it. Yeah. Hey, um, you basically need, like, something insane. Oh, yeah. Pikachu well, I need a auto. secret rare Charizard or Pikachu. Yeah. Um, but my neighbor across the street that I would go to, like, the karate tournaments with. Ooh, our did, second one yeah, of Yeah, I was going to say, we did pull this in the first video, yeah. but it is a secret rare. So I've got two secret rares. Third. Yeah. Wow. Enthusiastic king. We were right. That was the, that was the heavy box. Oh, and the Kangaskhan. Third Kangaskhan. <laughs> Damn. There you go, you All right. Wow. Sleeves. Thank you. Um, and Neighbor across the street. Yeah. And he had blue version and we would like restart like a new game and like try to like beat it by the time 
we would like get to like these tournaments. Right. And so we'd be driving to like Erie, Lodi. Those of you from this area are we just are you know, dying right now with these names. Um, Columbus, uh, Detroit, like places like that, you know, just um, to chop wood and try to try to beat the game. Like, you know, by the time we got back home. So like we would have the drive there, the karate tournament itself. Uh, Cause it was like a lot of downtime. Ooh, gold duck. Aquatic rescue. <laughs> Reverse Diglett and We've seen that. X. That's fun. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of like, that's like my earliest memories of playing, but because I then got back into them on like emulators, you know, I played like a lot of the the different ones uh, on that. So I don't like necessarily have specific memories, but then I could not get the, uh, like the DS emulator to work super well. Uh, and that's kind of like right around when we started getting back into like the cards side of it. Uh, and I was like, you know, I really want to play. It's cool art. Yeah. Double cool Nitto King in yours. I was like, I really want to play like Sun and Moon. Um, and so I bought like a DS so I could play mm. Sun and Moon on it. And it was nice. great. Um, My sister had a DS just for Nintendo Dogs. That is one of the most your sister things. Nintendo Dogs is just Nintendo GS. <laughs> That's true. See, King, I don't, I don't think, think we yeah. saw it. Butterfree either. Yeah. Yeah. Lapras, reverse coughing, Beedrill. I nice remember the, the first ranger. time I saw and caught Ho-Oh was in a road trip mm. with kids from church. Yeah. I think it was John Martin's gold version. That, that sounds about right. Why don't uh, you open your last two packs? All right. Because you are, again, very much winning. But yeah, Ho 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 was. They added, like, puzzles into some of those. Yeah. Uh, well, that was that was tough for my small child brain to figure out some of those. Sure. They were tough. Oh, hey. A nice looking uh, electric. Q Bone. Did we see that? Yeah. Okay. Vaporeon and Vile Plume. What's the and numbering of that Blastoise? That is 200 of 165. Look-see. <laughs> Didn't even go vaguely where I was aiming. Wow, same run. More Turtle Hypno Polyrath is nice. Cocoon uh, and Machamp. Yeah. Now we're talking like a 40 to 60 range. Ooh, that's nice. So definitely it is. I don't think that we have anything else in that <clears throat> territory. No, but I do have one pack left for glory. But that Blastoise is... Gonna, glory Babcock. We're going to get him right up here center stage. Bobby Witt with 11 points. Jeez Louise. Ted keeps ruining his day checking... Uh, Fantasy baseball. Oh! We there have not seen the base yet. There he is. Thudding press for a cool S buck. Weighing in at 6'11, 10, 14. Mm. <laughs> the Joe Thomas of Pokemon. The Dewan Jones. There you go. Pokemon. Gnaw the wound. All right, well. I feel like that's an easy dub for me. Oh, yeah. And, uh, one of the more lopsided pack battles we've had in a minute. Well, that Blastoise is incredibly cool and incredibly close. Mm. There's a mm. reference for you. A man called Otto. All right. Now, if you pull a secret red Charizard out of one of these two packs, <laughs> we are going to Target and buying more Pokemon <laughs> right now. Ask your doctor about Once Daily Larvesta. Eventually, if we ever have merch, I feel like Once Daily Larvesta <laughs> will be on the list. <laughs> oh! <laughs> CLE Fable. Wondrous Moon. That's a beauty. Have we seen this card? I don't think so. I don't think so either. It's not even a secret rare, but I don't think we've pulled this. Oh, yeah. It's a Lunar nice Zone. 
Zooner loan. Hello, Tyranitar with a turban on the front here. Sorry. Sleeping T-Tar will always be one of my uh, favorite pulls that we've had. That was awesome. I think the exact wording that I had was, I think that's something. Well, I also love that that's one of the only times I've gone out and bought Pokemon at a shop. Yeah. A hobby shop. I bought it at this little shop in Cleveland Heights. Yeah. I forget what it's called. Critical Hit or Critical Games, something like something that. Something like that, yeah. On uh, Cedar Road in Cleveland Heights. I just bought a, what do they call those, battle deck or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was like the build and battle Yeah. Things. I just bought one of those and maybe a couple of single packs and took it over to Josh's. Back at the old original filming location. Yeah. And pulled Broken that. Broken Oh. I thought we were on Pokemon 151 for a second. I was really... Pulled that sleeping T-Tar. That was awesome. Ooh. Punishing scissors and cut. Classic. Well, there's your, there's your dub. Yeah. Very cool. I mean, one of the, one of the definitely of the chase cards of of Pokemon 151 is the old Blastoise. Also, this cool side deck. Though. Yeah. The least amount of Pokemon to card ratio. Definitely. So leave a like, sub if you're not, and let us know in the comments what is your favorite Pokemon generation based on the games. And themselves. why is it Pokemon Snap? Mm. We'll catch you in the next video. Later.